Cuba's new draft constitution is on tour, traveling the country, open for review, and rare public debate of its provisions. Ordinary citizens are encouraged to voice their opinions and make suggestions to the text. This current draft was approved by the Cuban National Assembly in July, and some of its articles are bringing even more heat to Cuba's already hot summer, like one that recognizes same-sex marriage. It's a very controversial issue because it's never been. But fine, one does what one wants with their life, and that is not a bad thing because we are all human beings who express what we feel. I respect everyone's decision regarding sex and whatever they like, but I wouldn't like gays teaching in schools. Other proposed amendments would institute a two consecutive five-year term limit on the president, and a first-term president could not be older than 60. In another significant shift, the draft recognizes private property, a development already embraced by the government in recent years, but never before guaranteed by the Constitution. One tenet that notably doesn't change is adherence to a one-party system. Article 5 states that the Communist Party of Cuba is the one and only. I want them to discuss the possibility of other political parties with different proposals. It doesn't have to be just the Communist Party of Cuba, and it doesn't mean that it should be pro-empire or submissive to the U.S. I don't think that you can guarantee the non-existence of other parties or the hegemonic role of the party by writing it into the Constitution. It is a question of the mind of people. This public discussions will continue for three more months. Once the debate closes and suggestions are processed, the legislature will draft a final document and submit it to a nationwide vote by February of next year. Some of the changes to the Constitution are indeed significant. Harder to predict is how many of the changes will be broadly embraced. Here, the problem is the practice. The Constitution can change many things, but what will be the practice? The, it's a fight. It's, it's going to be a, a hard struggle. Nitsa Soledad Perez, CGTN, Havana.